So today we're back on Battlefield 2042 for update 4.1. This appears to be the last update that's going to go live for the game before the seasonal content starts in early summer. Fingers crossed that means June. This update today, there are a few things that we're going to go across, but the biggest one I've got to think is that Breakthrough is no longer 128 players. It's gone. You can only play Breakthrough as a 64 player experience. So we're going to jump into that right now. We're going to go through some of the changes and we're going to try out some of the weapons because a lot of them have had their recoil reduced. So let's see what happens. Okay then, 64 player Breakthrough. Let's see how much chaos we have here. There's one player down already. <laughs> Why say no to that? I'm using the PBX because I think it might have... It's got basically no recoil, guys. They did reduce the recoil with this patch on all the base guns and then made the attachments less impactful on the recoil, I think. So, like, basically, guns without attachments, you shouldn't really have a problem controlling the recoil anymore. I'm getting a little bit of stuttering here, actually. Performance seems about the same, maybe a little bit worse. It's hard to tell. I haven't turned... That was definitely a little hitch there. You probably saw that. Maybe this is the first time I'm playing discarded since the update, so it could be like, um, it could be the textures loading in, I guess. Let's have a look at A1. See if we can pick out some people. Doesn't seem to be many people here defending it. They're gone already, which is great news. Hello. Don't you try and shoot me, sir. <laughs> at least we know where these people are straight away. I do feel like the stuttering is the, like, the textures rendering in. But um, Battlefield 2042 doesn't tell you that it's doing it. So you just play and you just get worse performance until all the textures have been rendered and loaded in properly. So it kind of makes it a really bad experience if you're jumping on as soon as the update's gone live. Yeah, the AK feels like it's not got much recoil either anymore, if I'm honest. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's got half as much recoil as it used to. Makes all the guns easier to use. Don't know if I'm too much of a fan of that. Considering I complain all the time about recoil in Warzone. <laughs> that there's basically none of it and I would like more. So, I mean, I guess it's good for new players. Because, like, less recoil, guns are easier to control. More fun, more shooting at people. Rather than, you know, wondering why your bullets are not hitting their target. But, I don't know. Maybe for more established players. Like, I've put in nearly 125 hours into this game. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching have put more time in. That may not be such a good change. I don't know. I'm glad I'm getting to play this map, though. It's actually one of my favourites. This area here, B2, on discarded breakthrough. It's like this destructible town. Like, with loads of, like, containers and, like, concrete walls and stuff that you can destroy. This is one of my favourite fighting areas in the entire game. So if we start taking this objective, kind of hoping we can get some uh, enemies involved. Right, let me just stack up and put this up here. Oh, dear. Straight away, we are going to get spotted. Okay, we might actually succeed in taking this before too many of the enemies arrive. Which is decent, because then we can hold on to it. The people nearby. People at the back near my drone. Where have they gone? There are people around. Hello! Yep, there's definitely people around. Can we get a res down on this guy? Might be able to get a res. Oh, no, he gave up. Damn it. Yeah, that AK recoil would tap fire is much easier to control than what it was before. I mean, look, that's infinitely easier to control. There's a guy behind that shield down there. I wonder if I could flank and get him. He's still there? Or is he dead? I don't know if he's dead. I don't want to make the run in case because it's out in the open. Got to make that choice. All right, we're on the C point now. Look at this guy doing reverse donuts in his, in his thing. That hit a little bit. Oh, I haven't got any more rockets again. God damn it. Can I get this guy? No. Oh, look at all those enemies that I just got that just got spotted. Angel does it again. Goodbye, Angel. See you later. Alright, a lot of people got spotted over there. <laughs> Ellie just disappeared. There's certainly still plenty of chaos in 64 player. So if you were worried about that. I, w I wouldn't be, if I'm honest. I wouldn't be worried that you're going to miss out on much of the chaos. There's still plenty of it here. That's not a, a major concern of mine. In fact, I'm getting better performance than what I was getting, which is good. And there's still as much chaos as there was before. It just seems to be 
a bit more structured, which is good. Right, I'm in on this point. Yes. C5 drone. C5 drone. Is that a healing drone? <laughs> I was giving out ammo on top of the drone. I thought it was a C5 drone. It wasn't. Very inventive. In on Charlie 1. Nice. Little two-piece. Let me just see if I can get these guys. Come on. Get back up. Exactly. Up you get. Up you get, buddy boy. We good. I need some heals. I have to run out in the open now. Kind of didn't want to run out in the open, but we got to do it. You're dead. Anyone else over here? Oh, yes. There is someone there. Hello. Nah. Got away. Ooh. <gasps> Save me. Don't let me die. Come on. Peek it. He's not going to peek it. Let's cap this point. We can cap this. We can move on to the next sector. I'm actually quite enjoying myself in this match. This one's pretty decent. 64 players was definitely the way, I think, Dice. I think 128 was just a big marketing gimmick. Wow. Got destroyed by the K30 there. Angel really did do it again. Ah, he's dead now. Ha <laughs> ha. It's always the way, isn't it? We've just finished capping Charlie 2. And we lose Charlie 1. Of course that was the way it was going to happen. A car in here. That went through the car. That went through the car. Oh my god. I can't believe that. That's like back in the Battlefield 3 days where you used to fire a heli. And it went through the middle of the chopper. Like through the windows in the middle. Such a meme, man. All right, we captured the sector. We can push forward to the next one. Ouch! Where were you sniping me from? That was naughty. Don't do it again. Oh, that was close. All right, final sector. Let's see if we can take any more people out here. Goodbye. That's a forest turret as well, which got massively nerfed in the update, and I'm so happy about that. Thank goodness. Boris turrets are no longer just like aimbotting massive power machines. I mean, thank God they just, they've got rid of those. I mean, they're still alive on the ground when Boris is like in the revive state, which I don't like. And they can still shoot at you, but they re massively reduce the damage, massively reduce the rate of fire, massively reduce the bullet velocity on it. So I'm really happy that they made those changes. I'll flick them up on the screen so you can see them from the patch notes. But I think DICE realized just how annoying the, uh, the Boris turrets are. I think this is probably our best route in over this side. In fact, I might try and just... I was going to take the roof, but I think maybe killing a few people on ground floor might be better. Got to be some people in and around the objective here, surely. Yeah, there you go. You're dead. Nice little headshot on that guy. Didn't finish with a headshot, but we definitely got a headshot on him. There's quite a few people coming in here. Behind on the edge of this uh, objective. Now the stutter. I'm not sure this is... Um, stutters for the uh, the shaders, you know. I think, it, yeah, I think it's something worse than that. I don't know what these stutters are. They are not good. And they're not fun. Not only is performance a little bit worse, I think, since this update, but um, also I think these stutters are going to make the game run worse for people. Which is not good. Not what Battlefield needed in the last update before new content's going to come out. Let's play another round. I'll play another round of Breakthrough and um, we'll have a little bit more of an experience and see whether that map has the same stutters or not. Woo! Actually managed to destroy a player and a, uh, a robot dog at the same time. Is that another robot dog or a Boris turret? I can hear something going... It's a Boris turret. We got it. I think that shows it's actually been nerfed. I nearly died. But then I killed it. And now I'm dead. Great. I'm getting an aerial drop in here. Wow, just about managed to pull my parachute in time. Close, sir. Uh, yeah, performance definitely feels better at 64 player. There's, there's, there's no real doubt, actually, to be honest. There's no real doubt in my mind that it's better. Are there enemies coming in? Or are they all out? They're all out over there. We're taking it. I don't think 128 losing 128 players in breakthrough is really a problem. 
And I, I definitely think the M5A3 has way too little recoil and it's far too easy to control. I mean, it's just silly, really, when you think about it. Absolutely silly. We captured both objectives. We did. Sick. Okay, cool. Right, we'll push up on D1 in a minute. Well, there goes the rocket. <laughs> That's still a pretty cool uh, like Levolution event, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't change the map very much, which I kind of like. Because Levolution in BF4 often made the map worse. And so, therefore, I don't mind that this one just doesn't really... Oh. Oh. I, th I think our time... Yeah, our time is definitely over in Battlefield 2042. <laughs> All right, I think that's probably going to do it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. That's update 4.1. I think performance is worse. There's definitely some stutter in. The recoil is much lower. The Boris turret nerf worked. And the Breakthrough 64 is just way better. But the game's still buggy and still doesn't work properly. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.